Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a review of the Google Nexus 7. For only $200, with features like a quad-core processor and Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, it looks good on paper, but how is it to use? In a word, excellent. The ASUS-made hardware is rock solid, with a 7-inch 1280x800 display up front and a textured rubber backing. It can be easily used in one hand, and it really feels like a paperback book in use. More importantly, the build quality shows no signs of the $200 price, as the tablet is just as solid feeling as you could hope for. Up front is a 1.2 megapixel camera, and on bottom is your micro USB and a headphone jack. Around back is the speaker, which is one of my few complaints, as it's just very quiet. On the right side, you'll see your sleep-wake button and volume rocker, just like on an Android phone. In fact, in many ways, the Nexus seems like a large phone. Android 4.1 Jelly Bean trades some tablet features for a more typical Android experience. For example, you can't rotate the home screen, and many apps default to a normal phone UI, such as Twitter. This isn't really a bad thing though, as the 7 inch size isn't that much larger than phones like the Galaxy S3, and it means that in many cases the lack of Android tablet apps doesn't matter at all. Jelly Bean as a whole is a major improvement over previous versions of Android. Polish is one of the big things Google worked on, and it shows. While not quite as smooth as iOS on the iPad, nonetheless it's leaps and bounds smoother than any other Android device out there. You'll also see Google now. Google. How tall is the Empire State Building? Empire State Building is 1,454 feet tall. In some ways, it's like a much faster Siri, especially when asking for facts. It does have its limits, but overall Google Now is a solid addition. While I prefer the Snapdragon S4 found in phones like the HTC One X and Samsung Galaxy S3, the quad-core NVIDIA Tegra 3 chipset is no slouch. Inside the Nexus 7, you'll find a slightly lower-powered Tegra clocked at 1.3 GHz. Don't let that put you off though, this little $200 tablet has more power than some laptops just a couple years ago. One great example would be the game Riptide GP, as the graphics here are among the most impressive you'll find on any mobile platform. Battery life is another high point. With basic usage like reading, web browsing, and watching video, you can expect to get between 8 and 9 hours out of a charge. Really tax the tablet with gaming and you can expect something closer to 5 to 6 hours. For a 7-inch tablet, I have absolutely no complaints here. There's a lot you can say about the Nexus 7. On one hand, the screen size definitely isn't for everyone, although personally it's the perfect size for me. The speaker is anemic and quite often I find myself accidentally pressing the on-screen Android buttons. These are nitpicks however, as the Nexus 7 is an excellent tablet. Between the solid hardware, up-to-date internals, Android 4.1, and the $200 price, this is the first tablet other than the iPad that I can gladly recommend. If you're interested in more, feel free to check out my unboxing of the Nexus 7 here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.